calling Reginald. Let's look in there. Fire cord. Fine. Wait, no, why did he go on? Oh. I'm okay with that. I did find last episode. Let's go! Yay! Taxi, please! Move it, compadre! Lo que tú digas! Where do you Through want the to go? Over here, no, Chuparosa! Close your eyes. I wait okay. for when we arrive. Thank you! Wake me if there's any trouble, right, partner. Rosa. Oh, the gunslinger's tragedy. ¿Qué pasó con el otro? No te rompas, pendejo, deja la casa. Y les digo, de aquí para acá, chingan a su madre. Y que no cae ese güey. Y de aquí para acá, son pendejos. Hey, gringo! Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> habla English? <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Comprende, amigo? ¿Comprende? Hey, what are you doing here, Gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> you mean I no harm. harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> you want to find out, Nothing, amigo? amigo? No, I appreciate the welcome committee. But I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land, any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, holy gringo, I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. 
<laughs> you don't want to be playing with Don Mark. Can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see him from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. I'm many things, most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. no. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home, a man who handles a gun as sloppy as you. I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Okay. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. Be wow 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 wow. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? <laughs> Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much oh. anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting for death. Waiting. Death? For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. Squalor's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a, with Americans on the run. Mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? Yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government, foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Okay. Now that's a real gun. so hard was it come on I've got another idea right. the birds around here are always raising hell scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa all right here we'll do I'm gonna scare up some birds let's see if you can take down more than one at a time Nice 
Nicely done, sir. You've been Wait, taught Mike, well. Wait, Mike, you I'd have to say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Ricketts. I would have thought an old goat like me would have been long forgotten by now. I heard many a story when I was a boy. Still do sometimes. What, these days? I find that hard to believe. What do people say? Oh, you know how them conversations go. Fellers arguing over who's the toughest, who's the fastest, and who shot people in the back. I place good money on me still being the fastest. Ay, Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Por favor, Senor! Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Come on, these people need me. Let's go! So why are you looking at these two men? It's a long story. We used to ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their heads. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? I'd show them what a big mistake they'd made. Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. Too late to talk to Salvaron la vida. Keep your eyes peeled. These bandits don't give up easily. I can see you haven't lost your touch, Landon. Nobody said I had. You talk real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long way from being a Landon. Young, old, or otherwise. All those stories you heard of the boy from the truth, you know. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the I'm devil the are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. 
Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier, Senor Escuela, is Javier to see? No sé, Senor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, the Sabacon, uh, grind the Americano? Yo no sé. No. Again, <laughs> I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being, not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir. And I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. Okay. I'm going to take the train. You can come with me. We'll okay. ride ahead to El the I've been hearing some things about you, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? That some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from All there. Right. There should be some horses for us across the way. Reginald! All right, let's head to El Matadero and see what they know about Luisa. Let's go! We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl, anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? Whoa! All right, let's find this Carlos guy. Carlos. See, si. 
We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. Why not? I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. Hope you're ready for this. Yeah. Hey, hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué quieres? No puedes estar aquí. Te hace calor hoy. Bien bochornoso, ¿verdad? No lo voy a decir otra vez. No puedes estar aquí. Eh, hey, oye, soy yo, Carlos. Pues trabajo en el matadero. No me importa quién eres. Esta es una zona militar prohibida. Vete a casa. Me gustan sus botas. Muy bonitas. Mi hermana tiene las mismas. Pinche campesino de mierda. Te voy a colgar al lado de tu cerdo. Váyanse al infierno, traidores. Oh, there we go. Well, I say we've waited okay. long enough. Wait, John. Johnny, bye. The entrance is down this way. Why the hell are I you aiming at you? Me. You wanna stop doing that? Dang. This is not good. Luis is coming. What are you doing back there? Get back with my rifle. Don't give him any room. Oh, Come on, boy. Hang on, see you then. Oh, no, no. I'll kill you all. You're all dead, amigo. Must be this door. Looks like we might need a little dynamite to get it open. Keep watch while I get it okay. ready. Hang on. All right. Not gonna go well. How much dynamite do you need? Stand back, damn it! Here goes. Well, that was explosive. Come on, boy! Poor girl's yeah, barely alive. Yeah, the dynamite. Let's get the hell out of here before any more of them show up. Bandido! Come on, you think I'm joking? Serve me a 
weapon, therefore. You got a problem with me? Wait before they send more guards. All right, come on. Freedom, Alabama. Come on, Ricketts. Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on! Fast! Let's go before any more of okay. them show up. Let's what? go! He was meeting us here. Mike is in that. I hope he's coming. I don't want to wait longer than we need to. Wait for Carlo. There he is. Talk about cutting it fine. Sure. Get up. Come on. Hello, Carlos. Luisa. Gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Escuela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you Johnny's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Yeah, please. Right, what mission do we want to do next? None of them. Oh, it's fine with you. Is there an L mission that way? Off, 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 off. Over there. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's there. Oh, it's a Louisa mission. Okay. Right, we'll go and deal with DeSanta. Right, there's 
There's a taxi. Light as dice. Come on. Forgive me, sir. Forgive me, sir, but I am wrong. Oh my god. Okay. Right. We're gonna save now. And I think this is a good place to end it here. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully this works. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment so you don't miss it in the next episode of content. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you later. Alligators. Totally wrong.